good morning good morning back what is going on um i have good news today um we found a tree job hopefully the guy is not a butthead i'm tired of people being buttheads to me um got a morning morning's not starting off terribly great I got 20 minutes I'm pretty sure I can make it um, forgot to bribe Gatorade not a huge necessity um, eat my little burritos um, I get the feeling that I might be the guy's only employee which is whatever I've done it before um, told my have climbing gear, he's like, I got a climber! So, uh, he told me to bring that, so I'm gonna bring it. And I just hope this guy's not a butt. He doesn't sound like one, but neither did fucking Case Tree Care. Josh. Josh was a butt. He was a big butt. But he is somebody else's butt now. So anyway, we'll try to keep you guys posted. But I probably won't. Because, um, you know, I'm not going to be digging around on my phone the first day. If I can sneak on it and you guys, let you guys know what we're up to and what we're doing, I will. Jesus. So I'm at the 7-Eleven. I got all my shit, my lunchbox, my water, I even grabbed unnecessary shit like my headphones so I could listen to music, get all pumped up for work. I washed my hard hat last night, I put it right next to my lunchbox this morning, forgot it. Of course, I was in such a rush this morning to get here so I could get my Red Bull and my Gatorade that I forgot at Walmart <coughs> and all sorts of shit and the guy's fucking already 10 minutes late. Yeah. See, it, it's hard to tell. Yeah. I think I'm working with a crackhead. Time will tell. I don't know about this. Yo, this company is shit. I'm pretty sure it's a bunch of crackheads getting their jobs from other crackheads. No organization at all. Holy crap, what a freaking day. This guy literally should have been on a ladder with a pool in. He was pretty much the next step up. Pretty much it was a, a day of, of, of pretty much BS. We had one saw my set of climbing gear and yeah we had this one dude that came on he, he finally fucking got the, the tree done the owner doesn't he seems like he's not really interested in, in doing work he yeah Pretty much the first half of my day, I spiked up three trees, put ropes in them, dropped them. Um, otherwise, the guy was just gonna stand around. They, they, from what they said, they used to do fucking like crack and and and, and stuff and drugs. 
but they don't anymore. I don't know if I believe them. Uh, who knows? Um, I do see kind of a a goal. The good side to this is I actually, and this is sad, I kind of feel like I climb better than the owner. And so if I stick with this company, I'm probably going to be climbing most of the time, which will give me the opportunity to... Um, better my skills in climbing so I kind of got back into the swing of things around the like second third tree um, it, it it's gonna I think it's sticking around in this company for a little while is, is gonna be a good thing I, I think it is. I just hope this guy is not a fucking crook. And... Yeah, he doesn't try anything stupid. So, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go to Home Depot. And... Pretty much... Work the night. Probably put my two weeks in and... Yeah. Down to one job. Because, quite frankly, I'm shot. Like, I don't even want to go in. Anyway, guys, if you don't hear from me, well, I'll probably still continue the vlog in Home Depot. So, yep. Well, I'm done with Home Depot. Um,. I pretty much let Carl know that I am putting in my two weeks. I'll write the note tomorrow to make it official. Put it in Mr. Gary's mailbox. And these next two weeks are going to be absolute hell. I am going to be grabbing Gatorade as well as energy drinks because these next two weeks are going to be hell. Um, if I shit, shower, eat, and shave um, all by one o'clock I'll get at least six hours of sleep. And that's going to be the story for the next two weeks. So yeah, fun. Good morning everybody. Um, it got chilly for a second. Um, I'm pretty much sitting at 7-Eleven. Waiting for these guys. I texted them I'm at the 7-Eleven. If I don't hear from them in 30 minutes, I'm going to fuck home and going to sleep. I'm not fucking... I'm not fucking with these fucking crackheads. Um, yeah. I'm fucking shot. I'm tired. I didn't even really sleep last night. I mean, I did, but not as much as I would have liked. So, yeah, we'll keep you so, up So, I texted him at, you know, 6.52, that I was at the 7-Eleven, and I waited till 7.30, so I waited for 40, pretty much 40 minutes, and I just texted him, I, I guess you're not trying to work today, I don't know, this guy's, this guy's setting off too many red flags for me, I think I'm, I think I'm out of there, so, I'm gonna go home and go to folks sleep, yeah. this guy does not seem like something I'm trying to work with. I'm 
want to cut wood, I want to climb, I want to make money, I don't want to deal with crackheads, I don't want to deal with stress, if I want to deal with stress, I'd stay at fucking McDonald's, if I wanted to keep dealing with stress, I'd stay at Home Depot, which I'm, I'm going to stay at Home Depot for a little while, but uh, I gotta get back in the trees, man. Just the way it is. Oh well. I hope I get paid. If not, it's a hundred bucks. Whatever. Hundred bucks to. No, I don't. I need to be trusting this motherfucker. It is what it is. Shit comes back around to you in the long run, so. I'm not that worried about it. Well, I'm back home. It's pretty much been about an hour. Still haven't heard from this guy. Um, I'm going to bed. Yeah. Um, well, that sucks, but I'd rather lose pretty much $125 than you know, work all week and miss out on 500 so Sometimes you gotta cut your losses early. Uh, you you gotta follow your gut, guys. Um, yeah, I showed up yesterday ten minutes early. He showed up thirty minutes, but he texted me. Um, yeah, he was in communication with me. Uh, this dude <laughs> showed up with two other brand new guys for their, both their first days. And we were riding around in a car. First thing in the morning, we had to drive to Front Royal to buy a, a chainsaw to actually work. And the only pieces of equipment this guy had, other than that chainsaw that he bought, was two ropes. So, yeah. Then we had to run around, figure out how to get gas. I had to lend the other new guy $20 to put in his tank. I had to lend him $5 to get something to eat. So, uh, yeah. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. In, in the, the good part is it, at least I, I got to spike some trees. I got to climb a little bit and yeah that's good kind of keep keep myself into it so I think I'm just going to keep looking for tree companies and uh we'll see what happens I actually think because he knew he knows um uh Josh the other butthead I used to work with and I'm curious to uh I think I might I might call him to see what is up with this guy but anyway guys take it easy thank you for watching my video and uh, I think I'm gonna go to sleep and maybe make a urban exploration video tonight after Home Depot take care guys